hey guys happiness here welcome back to my channel and in today's video i am going to show you how you can add amazon pay on your shopify store so you can give your customer different different options to uh check out on your shopify store so i am going to show you how you can do this step by step and with amazon pay you can increase conversion by almost 35 percent with um uh, with amazon pay so let's go to shopify so this is my shopify admin page so once you log in into your shopify store this is the admin page you will see here and then and then down here on the setting click that and this is the setting page the setting page will be looking like this and with the setting section you can do so many things um you can buy domain you can uh do different payment method you can pick different plans different billings shipping and delivery even taxes and duties etc so in today's video i am going to show you how you can add an amazon pay on your shopify so so let's click here payments and down here you'll see and on this page you'll see um shopify has uh, so many different payment methods like shopify payments where your customers can use different credit card debit card Apple Pay, Google Pay, even Meta Pay, and also there is um, PayPal payment. Your customer can use PayPal to check out on your store. I have another video that I showed how to add PayPal payments to your Shopify store. So if you are interested, I will link that video on this. Uh, I will link that video on this video. Uh, make sure to check that out. And today we are going to do amazon pay so i am going to show you how you can add amazon pay so just in case if you log in into your shopify store and go to your payment method and you see all of this but you don't find pay, pay you don't find paypal or amazon pay just click here where it says add payment method so you can click that there and you can search by payment method or you can search by provider so you can select um, so you can type in here Amazon and look for Amazon um, if you don't find it there and you can also find different types of payment method um, that are very trending like trending nowadays like Klarner, um and and so on so let's go back right here we can click activate amazon pay so we can activate our amazon payment method on our shopify store so i am going to click activate amazon pay and right here you're gonna have to tell amazon about your business um so where is your business located so select where you're located in my case i'm located in united states and from here um you're gonna have to check the requirements um so your store must be live with products available to purchase so these are the requirements even way before you start um setting up amazon pay so your store must be live with products available for purchase and the pro and the products you offer must follow acceptable use policy and amazon pay can only be used on the url you specify during registration so make sure during the time we are doing registration for amazon pay that you are, you, sh you should use the correct url of your business and these are some of the items that you will need your company legal business address your company annual sales volume and things like that so and you can also manage your account on the seller central um with which this will be your one-stop shop for updates different integration of your online store and managing your amazon payments um uh, account and also you'll be able to ensure your customer contact details are correct in your business profile before going live so once you're ready um you so once you have read these helpful tips and you find okay you are ready to go click here create an amazon pay account or you can sign in with an existing account so if you have an existing account click that or if you don't have it yet you can create click here where it says create an amazon pay account and then from here you're going to provide your first and last name email and you're going to create a password so i am going to do that okay and i'm going to provide an email
Okay, and then I am going to create a password. And then once I'm ready, I put everything and everything I'm, I feel like is correct. I am going to click here, create an account. Okay. And now, um, Amazon pay just send us an email, um, for, to verify they send us a password. So I'm going to put it in here. Okay. And then, um, Amazon is going to process the request. Okay. And now we are so far, we are doing great. And this will be our setup progress. So first of all, we're going to have to provide business info and then followed by tax info, uh, and then point of contact info and then payment info. And the rest, the last step will be to connect your stock. So let's start by providing our business name on our uh, on this Amazon account. So this name will actually appear on Amazon. So make sure you wrote um, your actual business name and then you're going to provide a URL. I'm gonna paste it. And then over here, you're going to choose your business category. So what are you selling? Uh, food, drinks, nutrition, that's my store. So pick your actual business. So if you're selling cameras or you're doing like home and garden, you're selling jewelry and watches, pick um, your business category. And then over here, we're going to pick an annual sales volume. So choose an amount. So if you're just a beginner, just pick here under this amount. And then over here, we're going to uh, put a business address. So this will be the street. Okay. And then put the number. Okay, so once you think everything looks great and is correct, click here confirm for the next step. Okay, so the first step is all done. So this is what you'll be seeing every time when you finish your setup. We are going to complete the tax info. So business type, your federal tax classification as shown on income tax return. So choose one. Are you an S corporation, C corporation, partnership, an LLC, a different type of LLC for S corporation, C corporation, or LLC partnership? Oh, you are a tax exempt entity um, and stuff like that. So pick one that is actually uh, works for you. Or if you're just an individual sole proprietor or a, sing a single member LLC. So in my case, I am a sole proprietor. I am the only person who is selling. So I'm just going to select that. And then over here, you're going to have to provide your name, your legal name as shown on your income tax return. So I have to mention that this setup will be totally different depending on where you're, you're planning to do your business or where you're, you're depending on the country you are located right now or where you're planning to do your business. So I'm just going to put here legal name. Okay. Okay. And for U.S. tax purposes, are you a U.S. person? Um, so if you're not sure, just click here. What is this? And they'll give you the information. Okay. And then, um, click yes or no. So I'm just going to click yes. And if you're not, just click no. Okay. But if you are yes, then you're going to have to provide your tax ID. Um, you have to confirm your email address and you have to provide your signature here to confirm this is correct. Okay. So let's say in case you choose yes, um, you are going to fill that information. And if it's no, the only thing you have to do is just confirm your tax info. So I'm going to click yes and then choose your ID. So let's say you want to provide your 
individual taxpayer identification number which is itin or the emperor identification number ein or such a secret number you can do that so i'm just gonna provide um i just don't want to put the correct number but okay oops and then uh tax mailing address your address is shown on your income tax so if this is not the correct address then you're gonna have to click here add another address and then you're gonna have to sign here and this will be the date and then you're going to confirm tax info um this is not my correct uh EIN number so if i click here it won't take me to the next step because i didn't want to put the correct one because this tutorial is just for showing you guys and um i don't want to um put my information there and be in trouble uh someone using my info and stuff like that so so if i click confirm tax uh so confirm tax info and then you'll not be able to change tax info again before registration is complete after registration you can change tax info but it may delay or retrigger verification so you have to make sure the information that you put there is right and correct and then okay and then you can go ahead so as i said before um my e the ea number i put here i didn't put the valid information so i am not going to use that i am going to click no but i just wanted to show you how you can actually do that if you pick yes you are uh for you are like a u.s person so i'm just going to click here no and then i'm going to click here confirm tax info and then yes confirm tax info okay and the next step complete your personal info we are going to complete even more information by date of birth okay so i'm just gonna put it here Okay, and then click confirm and then the following step will be to enter your cut now so so and and Amazon will tell you setting up your account will cost you nothing but before you can receive um, disbursement will require you to provide a credit card that Amazon pay can charge if your account falls into a negative balance so that's the only, only reason so so you can select to enter now um, and oh you can say oh I'm gonna provide later in my cell account so I'm just gonna select that and then complete okay and then this will be our last step so I select that let me see confirm payment okay so looks like um this will be the end of it uh because amazon won't let me proceed on the next step because they want me to enter my uh credit card number um just for self for safety uh when let's say like my amazon account uh my amazon pay can charge my account just in case there is like a negative balance but if you enter that and confirm payment info the next step will be your last step is just to connect your shopify store and amazon pay once you do that you'll be good to go and your customer will be able to start paying um the, your customer will have an option to pay with amazon pay instead of using maybe credit or debit card they'll just want to use amazon pay right away so this is really good to have different payment method on your shopify store so it is really really good to have different payment method on your shopify store um so you can increase your conversion rate if someone wants to buy something on your store and they don't want to use um credit card or apple pay or paypal they just want to use amazon pay make sure you have this so you can get that money so you can get those sales so that's it for today's video i hope you like this video if you do please give it a big thumbs up um it will be much appreciated and leave me a comment down below if you have any question thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video